Hey guys, my name is Will and today I'm going to show you a quick interview setup that I'm doing for my brother. It's a video that he needs for his school and we're basically turning our basement into a little studio setup with a three-point lighting uh, setup. And lastly, uh, how I did the post-production a little bit, how I uh, graded the shots. So just as a quick rundown of everything that I've got here, I'm working with a Sony FX3 Sigma 24-70. My key light is a Nanlite 300B. It's a bicolor COB light. Put a little soft box on it. Got a black backdrop. It's a Savage paper backdrop. And I have a Yongnuo 360 LED light right here. I'm gonna set it to green and have it uh, push some green light onto the backdrop simply because the brand that my brother is doing the video for has green in their branding and their uh, logos and all that stuff. So I'm trying to be brand consistent with that. And then we've got a little bit of a rim light here to separate him from the background. It's just an ALM9, uh, really old but handy LED light. And then last but not least for audio, I'm just running a lav mic. It's the Tentacle Sync E, 32-bit float lavalier microphone, really high quality stuff. I love this mic. And yeah, I'm gonna start showing you the final result. All right, so this is the final shot and I just wanted to walk you through quickly what I did to get this kind of color. Basically, this is this is the raw footage, S-Log3 straight out of camera. I added an adjustment layer on top of everything just to add a Rec. 709 LUT. This LUT is from Phantom LUTs. And then afterwards, I just went into the clip itself and I noticed, you know, it's a little bit too washed out, too faded. So I added a bunch of contrast to it. And the way I did that is, well, it's, it's by bumping up the contrast and lowering the shadows. And then after doing that, I noticed the face was just a little bit too hot. So I also dropped the exposure by just a little bit. After seeing all this, I think the main thing I would have changed actually is a way to fix the backdrop. Cause I don't know how these paper backdrops work exactly. I'm not sure why there is this, there's a bit of a wrinkle a consistent wrinkle that goes across the paper. I need to find a way to, to fix that. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with how this went. And yeah, that's it for me today. Thanks, bye.